princes. Even uh, Sir Johannes was probably a prince. Anyway, we don't care about that. We care about money and bitches. <laughs> that is a terrible, terrible thing for me to say. I don't actually believe that. I, um, I'm married. I love my wife. Most days. Ha 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 ha. LOL. JKFFF. I don't know what that means. Stop hiding, zombie schnoo! I don't have very much health at all. I should probably kill more enemies and get more chicken. Oh, it's because it's a fairy room. I didn't even realize. But yeah, having all this blood stuff on me really helps with that. But yeah, I mean, seriously though, if you're supporting me, I'm going to acknowledge it. I'm going to acknowledge it in every way I can. Maybe I'll start, uh, start doing like giveaways and whatnot too, like prizes for people. I don't know, let me know what you think about that in the comment section below. I know I've been giving a lot of a lot of shoutouts out though. It's because I appreciate you people. Um Oh, I, I have identical I memory. Anyway, we're going up. Another journal entry. All oh, these are coming fast and hard. Okay. J journal entry number eight. From the number of dead adventurers I have passed in these halls, I have come to the following conclusions. One, many did not take enough provisions with them. I assume many died of hunger. I myself am running low and will have to find more supplies. Two, many are missing clothes, which explains the pant-wearing zombies. <laughs> That's a funny little touch. Three, no one has made it as far as I since I haven't passed any corpses in over an hour. Okay, so that does highlight your progress, Prince. No, no, no. Do 20 damage, I'll get six health back. I don't like how the zombies hide. Okay, so I'm not in the Maya yet. I'm assuming that the mimics only show up in the Maya. Maybe the darkness. I haven't explored the darkness very much. Uh, don't tell me. It'll be better if I get surprised. Oh, ho, ho, Mega Mega Satan eyeball. Mega Satan is a boss in the Binding of Isaac Rebirth that some people know about and some people don't. And spoiler alert. <laughs> Okay. So I definitely like the, the one effect. It, it makes the game, you know, easier on the eyes in the Maya where all this mist is. There we go. So, yeah. Fuck! So future plans for the channel. My future plans are to be putting out a lot more reviews, a lot more edited content, rage games, my wife plays, that, that kind of thing. Uh, because I really do think that you guys, uh, you warm up to that kind of thing. You react well to funny, funny kind of things. And I love making that kind of thing. I'm going to be the Shinobi because I, I plan on upgrading the Shinobi. But yeah, you guys warm up to that thing. And I love making that kind of thing. I think it's hilarious. So I'm going to keep on doing that um, to the best of my ability. And let me know what kind of things you want to see uh, so I can, you know, go out of my way to make it, you know, visible to you. Building! How many times are we gonna go through this castle without winning? Come on, Otis! This time! This time is the victory! I want to be able to put even, even more progress as the title of this video. Make it a prediction, it's probably not gonna happen. Let's go up, though. We're a shinobi, we kill everything with one hit. We're just a shinobi. That's because I didn't have enough money to upgrade it, even though I said I was going to upgrade it. Oh, paintings. Yeah, the cool thing about the Shinobi and the blood equipment is that you stay pretty much maxed out on health almost all the time. Like, pretty much maxed out almost all the time. Oh, every time. Every time. That's fine. Except for when you do stupid crap like that, you stay pretty much maxed out on health all the time. But I think we're right at the doors of the Maya here. We are. And that's the thing with the Shinobi is that I can... I have a hypochondriac. I ha actually have no idea how much damage I'm really taking. But yeah, and the thing with the Shinobi is I can heal myself really quickly because I kill these things really quickly. And that is a, that's a major bonus. That's a major plus to this class, I think. Thanks for putting a class that does a shit ton of damage in here, Celador Games. I think that was a good call. It makes it more enjoyable to play. Because if I was losing every single time, all the time, I don't think I would like this game as much. I love this game, though. I think it's a great game. 
I was I was recently on the Rogue Legacy uh, subreddit. It's it's like dead. It's inactive. It's like nobody knows about this game. That killed me in basically one hit. But it's like nobody knows about this game in that subreddit, and they don't like Let's Players. They downvote the shit out of Let's Players. Even if you're not promoting yourself, you're just saying that you're Let's Playing the game. If you're asking a question and they know that you're a Let's Player, they will downvote the crap out of you. So just... I don't, I don't really want to... I don't want to knock them or, or, like, talk crap about them, but I, I personally... I, I avoid the, uh, the Rogue Legacy subreddit. I just don't think that they're very supportive of the players of the game. Even though the, the players of the game are basically what makes the game that great, you know, is it, we are the community, we play the game, we love the game. Um, thank you, Solar Games, for making it. I think it's a masterpiece, honestly. But, uh, yeah, I mean, subreddit, come on, warm up to Let's Players. Like, we're not all trying to self-promote, and I don't really think there's anything wrong with that. Every kind of business self-promotes, every kind of entertainer self-promotes. I mean, I'm not, like, spamming people's videos or anything like that, going, watch my stuff, it's better than yours. No, I'm not doing that. I'm not a 13-year-old kid or anything like that. I am just saying, uh, you should warm up the Let's Players a little bit more. I, I don't think there's any problem, even though the, uh, the market is a little bit saturated with people that have crappy content. And I don't know if I'm crappy or if I'm not crappy. It doesn't really matter. I don't think there's anything unique or better about me than anybody else, but I think that everybody deserves a chance, Every, everybody deserves a look. Don't just avoid looking at people because of what they are. I mean, if you watch other Let's Players, chances are you're going to find some more people that you enjoy watching. So just give everybody a shot, you know? Like, watch one video. If you decide you hate it, you decide you hate it. It's We all deserve a little bit of love. Everybody's so cynical. I was on the Let's Play subreddit last week. And I cannot believe how many people said that they downvoted people for asking questions that have been answered before. I get it. They've been answered before. You're sick of seeing them. But you probably asked those stupid fucking questions, too. So, I don't know. It just makes me not want to watch your stuff. It, like, it makes me want to avoid your content because you're not willing to help the new people out. You're, you're too good for the new people. And to me, that just tells me that you forgot where you came from. You might only have like a hundred subscribers and you're cocky enough to think that you don't have to answer questions to people who don't know uh, don't know the new stuff. And to me, that's just that tells me that you're not worth watching. You're not worth my time. You don't support the other people in your community. So if anybody from the subreddit that said that kind of thing is watching, I mean, come on, dislike my video. I don't care. Do what you got to do. But you should help the new people out. I think everybody deserves a chance. Everybody deserves a shot. And you, you know what? Your feedback might help create the next, you know, Chugga Conroy, next PewDiePie, Markiplier, Tabiscus. You might be part of the reason for the next guy's fame. And, and that might burn you up a little bit. You might be a little jealous. But honestly, you... <laughs> I mean, I'm going out on a little rant and a tangent here. But honestly... These people started exactly where you started. There's no reason for you not to give them a little bit of help. I mean, this is where you're from. Don't forget, they're, they're your family, basically. This is your YouTube family. Don't turn your back on your YouTube family. I think that's all I have to say about that. Uh, <laughs> Jesus, I'm dying about every five minutes. Anyway. <laughs> Just... Help, every, help each other out. I mean, wh who are we without other people that do the same thing? We're just, we're obscure, we're not known. Trust me, you're not the first to do what you're doing, and you're not the first to ask a stupid question. You know what? If you don't feel comfortable asking a stupid question in the subreddit, my name is Otis Hall on the subreddit, all one word. Send me a private message. I will I will hook you up. I will help you to the best of my ability. If, I, if I've been in that situation before, and somebody helped me out, I'm going to pay it forward. I hate it that people are just, you know, just like turning people down for not, for not answering the same questions. You know what? This, this is going to be my Feedback Friday submission because I want people from that subreddit to see this. <laughs> anyway, that's enough about that. <laughs> so, how are you guys doing today? I, I just went off on a rage there for a minute. Uh, but there's, uh, I'm, I'm done. I'm done talking about that. <laughs> Uh, in other news, there are actually some really great people in the subreddit that have given me some good feedback. Like, Wells Knight has given me amazing feedback. Uh, he's got... No, look. He's given, you know, invaluable feedback to me. There's, um... 
There's another guy, I think his name is like T L E on the internet or something like that. It's a really complicated name. But that guy, that guy has got some of the most sound opinions and and statements I've ever seen anywhere online. Like he's he's kind about things. All of his criticisms are construction is constructive. So go you, T T L E on the internet. I don't know how to pronounce your name, I'm sorry. But uh Go you, you are a sterling example of the kind of guy that I want to support. That's, that's my advice to people, um, is if you, if you want to be supported, support other people. Like, if you're not willing to help other people out, even if they're asking dumb questions or over-asked questions, you're not, you're not willing to have me as a viewer at the very least. That's, that's that, I mean... I keep saying I'm done with this tangent, but I'm just so passionate about it, I just think that... We gotta remember our roots. Like, I mean, look, look at look at Northern Lion. It's opposite day here on the Reddit. That guy remembers where he came from. He comes in and he gives advice every once in a while. I mean, he's a busy guy. He can't do it all the time. But that guy's famous. He's more famous than 90% of you people that said that said that you don't want to answer these stupid questions so you downvote him so nobody can see him. That guy is so famous, and yeah, he's willing to take time out of his day to answer these questions. Like, I mean, what kind of world do we live in? Where the famous guy's got more time to answer it than the guy with a hundred fucking subs. <laughs> oh, jeez. Okay. Anyway. Let me know in the comment section below if you don't like the fact that I was talking about that throughout this, pretty much this whole video. But yeah, this is... I should release this as a Feedback Friday thing, but I'm not going to release this for a few days because I, wanted, I want the continuity to be there. I'll, it'll be a feedback Friday in the future, I think. <laughs> anyway, that's just, that's fucking great. I was just about to say we're going to rush to the boss. I guess I ranted about that subreddit, those two subreddits, this entire episode, basically. But, uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for putting up with it. <laughs> Have a good day. Give other people advice when they ask for it. They deserve it. Goodbye. Goodbye. It's not letting me stop the recording. We'll get this.